welcome back to another pick a card reading or hello if you're here for the first time uh so today's reading is what does your higher self want you to know at this moment okay we have four groups for you to choose from we have group one two three and four if you want to pause the video to choose your group feel free uh, but i shall see you in your readings Okay, if you chose the first group, then this reading could possibly be for you. Uh, so what does your higher self want you to know right now? Okay, we'll start off with your tarot cards. So we have Judgment Upright, okay, and we have the Tower Reversed. Two big energies, right? So your higher self wants you to know that you are headed towards a renewal. For some, I do feel this is in regards to love or a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic, though. Um, yeah, so I feel like your higher self wants you to know or your higher self wants you to kind of use your discernment um, more or in regards to a situation or person that could be about to re-enter your life. So for some of you, there could be someone who's about to come back into your life or who's about to make an appearance into your life and your higher self really wants you to use your discernment in regards to this person so yeah your higher self wants you to recognize uh the power and recognize the importance of accountability you know like do you hold yourself accountable do you hold um, you know, the people around you accountable. But your higher self wants you to know that there is someone who maybe wants your forgiveness. This person could be like a Leo, Sag, a Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius or Scorpio. Yeah, but this person could want your forgiveness. And you could be being asked to use your discernment in regards to this person as well. So for some of you, yeah, your higher self wants to see if um, maybe this person takes accountability, you know, and kind of just using your discernment from, you know, that moment or in that moment. For some of you, your higher self does want you to um, want you to use your discernment in regards, yeah, in regards to whether or not this person takes accountability and kind of making a decision on that and kind of seeing how that makes you feel in that moment, you know, like, does it bother you that this person is not taking accountability or, you know, can you continue with someone? Or do you want this person in your life, someone who isn't able to kind of take accountability? And yeah, some of you are just being asked to to definitely use your best judgment in regards to that situation, if that situation does uh, even resonate for you. But yeah, your higher self really wants you to keep your cool. Um, for some of you, like your higher self really wants you to keep your set, your success, your potential, your growth. Uh, even your wins, small wins, big wins, they want you to kind of keep it to yourself for now. Um, your higher self wants you to know like the path that you're on in this moment, like you're growing and you're transforming. For some of you, this could be in regards to career, but your, your higher self wants you to know like to just kind of keep going, like you're on the right path. Uh, for some of you, your higher self even wants you to know that you found your calling or maybe one of your callings or you're about to but i feel for a lot of you maybe you're questioning whether or not the path you're on is the path that you're meant to be on and if you have been questioning that then your higher self wants you to know that yes you are on the right path and you know if things you know don't seem clear right now then they will seem clearer moving forward with that judgment it's like you're moving from the fog into the light you know something could be becoming clearer to you so for some of you you could be gaining that clarity um in regards to the path you're on or in regards to you know someone that you could be feeling confused about 
But yes, for some of your higher self really wants you to wants to affirm to you that you have found your calling and that this is what you're meant to be doing, at least for now, you know, um, and that you're headed towards, you know, success, um, you know, praise, continued growth as well. For some of you, for some of you, yeah, your higher self wants you to be humble. Um, <laughs> This is sweet. So for some of you, your higher self wants you to be humble in regards to how easy something is for you. It's like maybe, ugh, I don't know. Do you know, like, you know, some things can be very overwhelming, but it's just like things will be running smoother for you or things will be, you know, easy. Like, say, for example, you know, people work really hard to kind of like make ends meet, right? Sometimes. Um but then maybe you know the way you make money not saying you don't you know it's um, easy for you to make ends meet or anything like that but you know maybe money comes easier to you but i don't know but something that's gonna seem a bit easy for you or something that's gonna be easier for you moving forward like <laughs> your higher self just um wants you to be humble about it like this could be an increase in blessings you know and your higher self just wants you to be humble about it you know obviously you know gash yourself up whatever but yeah just be humble i guess um but yeah it's because it just you're you're about to level up like big time i feel for a lot of you and your higher self just wants you to like keep cool you know uh <laughs> like smile and wave boys you know smile and wave but <laughs> so yeah for some of you um yeah uh this could be in regards to like a smoother journey or just your path moving forward could be uh, a bit smoother and your higher self just wants you to be you know aware of it and um be humble about it for sure your higher self also wants you to know that you're about to be well known um or more so uh, for some of you this could be in regards to like fame but overall your higher self wants you to know that you are leveling up your higher self doesn't want you to doubt yourself like you're good your higher self wants you to avoid being judgmental, whether that's being judgmental towards yourself or other people. Your higher self just wants you to, you know, um, just leave it out, you know. Um, your higher self doesn't want you to resist change because um, resisting change is just, uh, you know, with this tower card in reverse, it's just kind of you uh, of not avoiding or what's the word? Delaying that, you know, in inevitable, okay? So for some of you, you are being asked to kind of just, um, yeah, try not to avoid change or resist it. But yeah, <laughs> what does your higher self want you to know? So we have here wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. Nice. So your higher self wants you to know that you're recovering, you know, whether this be, you know, from, you know, a trauma, whether this be, you know, health related, whether this be, you know, broken heart, um, your higher self wants you to either, you know, put more focus towards your wellness um, and your health and, you know, taking care of your body. Um, yeah. So it's either an improvement in health or you're being asked to, like, focus on your, on your health and that's what your higher self wants you to know. So we also have uh, increased support. So it says your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance of help and opportunities nice mm -hmm. so yeah your higher self wants you to know that you are about to uh, receive increased support and you know this increased support it could be you know um, from people you know but maybe for others of you i feel like this literally is a blessing you know um that is about to <laughs> and i feel like the reason I, I feel like it's a blessing because i feel like it, it it comes not easy but it comes easy you know in a way um and yeah so yeah your higher self wants you to know that you're about to have an increased support and that you're opening the doorway for abundance and you know more opportunities to enter your life as well i feel like your higher self just wants you to know that you're in alignment and it's like maybe you won't have to chase the things that are meant for you like maybe they'll be you know coming towards you now if that makes sense um but yeah 
so what does your higher self want you to know so we have here departed loved ones and we have judgment but we also have family okay what does your higher self want you to know I only take this message if it, if it resonates um, but your higher self for some of you wants you to know um, that there are um, you know departed loved ones of yours that love you that support you maybe they're the ones that are sending you the support it could be divine support uh, ancestral support you know um, but yeah that's what your higher self wants you to know that you you know even if you're not entirely supported or um you know you know in this 3d world that there are other people um out there looking after you and looking out for you you know even if they're not in your physical world okay <sighs> okay so for some of you, your higher self wants you to know that you are really loved as well So for some of you, your higher self wants you to connect with your roots. For some of you, this could maybe be nature. Uh, for others of you, I mean, it could be, you know, connecting with family, if that resonates for you. Um, but I feel like this could be connecting more so with something that makes you feel uh, grounded. I feel like this could be in regards to nature, though. Or, you know, reconnecting with family, people that make you feel safe. For some of you, your higher self wants you to focus on family, maybe being more generous with family in regards to your time. And, you know, this doesn't have to be like, obviously, like all of your family, but it could be someone. Um, it could be someone that needs you. Like this person, like actually needs you, like you're a big part of this person's life. Could be younger than you as well. But yes, um, what does your higher self want you to know? So we have time to play, make time to play, dance and laugh. <laughs> yeah, so your higher self, if the hermit upright came out to clarify. So if any of you have been feeling like a bit isolated or, you know, you've just been in really deep self-reflection mode or, you know, um, hermit mode, whatever it may be for you. But your higher self wants you to know that maybe it is safe or it is time for you to come out, enjoy yourself. Um, you know, and, and kind of get yourself back out there, especially if you have been kind of keeping to yourself for a little while. And finally, we have make a change, welcome change into your life. So what is your higher self? Yeah, so your higher self wants you to either initiate change, accept change when it does come along. Um, but yeah, you're, you're definitely being encouraged by your higher self to welcome change into your life and to definitely uh, maybe try not to avoid change okay uh, but yeah that is all i have for you though for those of you who chose this hair group i hope it could resonate i hope it can make sense for you and your situation um but i'm wishing you the absolute best moving forward okay please take care of yourselves bye hi i hope you all are doing so good if you chose the second group then this reading could possibly be for you um, so your higher self, what is it that they're wanting you to know at this moment? Okay, let's start off with your tarot cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the King of Pentacles. Reverse. Okay, let's have a look and see. What does your higher self want you to know? Okay, so for some of you, your higher self wants you to initiate change. Um, they could want you to take a break from the struggle or take a break from an uphill battle. Um, your higher self wants you to know that like your karma is being acknowledged at this moment. Um, your, your higher self wants you to maybe be more aware of the karma that you are, you know, creating or attracting for yourself. You know, whether this be, you know, positive or, you know, maybe the opposite of positive. Um, but yeah, your higher self wants you to know that a current cycle is coming to a close. For some of you, this could be a cycle in regards to your career. But your higher self wants you to kind of take a chance or to take more risks, um, to take a chance on yourself as well.
So if this resonates for you, like only take this if it resonates. But for some of you, your higher self wants you to know that it's not too late um, to change your luck or to change your karma or to change your direction in some way. Um, so I'm hearing for some of you, like imagine two tubes um, are filling up. OK, one is filling up with good karma, positive karma. Um, you know, through your actions and, you know, your intentions and one is filling up with, um, you know, bad karma through your actions and through, you know, your intentions. And it's like eventually, you know, one of those tubes will be full. And because the, because the tube is full, it has to be released and your higher self just really wants you to be mindful of what tube that you're filling you know because eventually this karma will be released and yeah your higher self just wants you to be mindful of that but yeah your higher self wants you to know that there will be a change in fortune for you i do feel like this is for the good though uh your higher self wants you to be generous when you can Like this could be in regards to time, resources, support. Like obviously not being generous to everyone, not not having boundaries and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, keep your boundaries and you know whatever that may be. Um, um, but yeah, you are being asked to be supportive or generous if you can, you know. so your higher self also wants you to kind of let go of material goals for the moment um your higher self maybe wants you to be not too focused on yourself especially if this is like hyper focused like i'm overworking or overeating or you know whatever it may be um maybe in kind of indulging a lot as well but your higher self just wants you to um yeah, to maybe not be too focused on yourself and kind of maybe extending that energy, uh, you know, towards people or a person that needs you. But yeah, you're definitely your higher self is definitely encouraging you to either offer help or to accept help, you know. But I do feel like your higher self also wants you to know that you don't owe someone or something your loyalty i feel like that could be referring to like a past situation or past energy um maybe for some of you you're maybe feeling guilty uh maybe feeling isolated or feeling um like you made a wrong decision um, but your higher self wants you to know that you don't owe anyone your loyalty, especially if it has not been earned, you know. So, yeah, for some of you, your higher self wants you to maybe consider a career change, but only take that if it aligns with your intuition and what you've been maybe feeling or thinking up until this point. So yeah, your higher self also wants you to maybe focus a bit more on self-care. For others of you, this could be in regards to your environment, your home. So for some of you, if it resonates, your higher self maybe wants you to nurture uh, your environment, um, your home, maybe rearranging a few things, cleaning. Um, I'm just hearing that this will definitely help transform the energy, um, you know, of your home and, you know, uh, which will impact you as well. So only take the separate resonates, but for some of you, you're being asked to be cautious of someone that wants to take advantage of you. This could be a new person or it could be um, someone you already know or someone who's in your life currently, you know, um, but you are being asked to be cautious of that person. Um, yeah, but finally, I feel like you're being, uh, your higher self wants you to, you know, be careful of your finances and maybe future finances and kind of investments, you know, where you direct or invest your money. Uh, so what does your higher self want you to know? So we have here high end intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is a trustworthy. So yeah, your higher self wants you to trust yourself, trust your intuition. Um, you know, even 
like sometimes people get downloads and like sometimes people feel things and they hear things and even though they have not had that um what's that what's that word i'm looking for like even though it hasn't manifested in the physical or haven't i haven't been able to see it like say for example i i feel like this person is jealous of me like they feel like they have it out against me it's like my intuition has been telling me this but because i haven't seen that in the physical like i don't know if i can trust my intuition but for some of you you're just being asked to trust your gut trust your intuition because it's like not trusting your intuition could you know it could just help you avoid certain things i guess you know i'm not trying to but yeah your high self just wants you to trust yourself okay <laughs> and we also have diamond value your self-worth you are god's precious gem and that is Osha. <laughs> so yeah your higher self wants you to value yourself you know whether that means you know looking after yourself treating yourself uh pampering yourself <laughs> nine of pentacles came out when i said that um, but yeah, you're definitely being asked to value yourself a whole lot more. For some of you, you're, you're definitely being asked to value the impact that you have on other people. Maybe you're unaware of the impact you have. Um, but yeah, you're definitely being asked to value it. Maybe even, um, I don't know, how, how do I put this in words? Maybe being more assertive even, like kind of stepping into your power a bit more um your authority a bit more so we have here job love what you do and do what you love so for some of you your higher self maybe wants you to know that there is possible you know career changes happening for you for others of you your higher self wants you to actually initiate those changes and um maybe they want you to find a career or a job that is more fulfilling um towards you you know for some of you I'm hearing there's no reason why you should do what you, what there's no reason why you shouldn't do what you love you know uh and the nine of cups came out to clarify that and we have the wheel of fortune here so for some of you you could be manifesting something big right now you know something or a job that is more in alignment with you okay especially if that's something that you've been looking for been searching for you know uh so we also have purse wallet and it says pursue your true wealth so your higher self yeah, your higher self wants you to pursue something or just pursue things in general that has, that is in alignment with you, you know, that has, um, yeah, that you feel is more suitable or suited to you, you know. But yeah, for some of you, there's definitely going to be a job change, career change, um, but yeah. And we also have gift of freedom. So what does your higher self want to tell you? So yeah, your higher self wants to tell you to break away from a certain attachment right now. Uh, it could be to a person, it could be to a place, it could be to a job. Um, but yeah, you're, you're definitely being asked to kind of let go of that attachment and kind of initiate more change, initiate more freedom uh, within your life. You know, maybe uh, a certain that freedom that you have and finally we have do not be frustrated let go and feel peaceful so for this group you're really being asked to or your higher self wants you to consider uh letting go of something especially to feel more at peace you know so your, your higher self definitely wants you to maybe stop struggling you know towards something that's not even meant for you and to kind of shift your direction towards um you know something that will make you feel more at peace for some of you maybe this is letting go of a thought letting go of you know a certain dream or whatever it may be but like if this thing fills you with dread if this thing you know makes you feel frustrated then you're definitely being asked to kind of let it go you know whether that be for the time being whether that be momentarily um or indefinitely um, but yeah, you're definitely being asked to assert your freedom and align with things that make you um, more happy, okay? Um, but yeah, that is all I have for you, though, for those of you who chose this here group. I hope it can resonate. I hope it can make sense for you. Um, but I'm wishing you the absolute best moving forward, okay? Please take care of yourself. Bye.
higher if you chose the third group then this reading could possibly be for you so what does your higher self uh, want you to know at this moment okay we'll start off with the tarot cards so oh, <laughs> right so we have knight of cups and we have the empress upright okay so what does your higher self want you to know sorry Okay, so I feel like your higher self wants you to know that maybe you're about to be in love, okay? Or for some of you, if you're with someone currently and, you know, it resonates and you could be falling deeper for this person, okay? Um, but yeah, for, if it's not a person though, this could be in regards to your work or finding something that you love to do, okay? Um, but yeah your higher self wants you to know that you're about to enter a very beautiful period in your life and i have to say like it's been such a pleasure connecting with your higher selves today like all the groups so far have just been i don't know so lovely the energy um, but yeah um for some of you your higher self wants you to maybe love on yourself a bit more or they want you to know that you're going to be able to have or you're going to have the means or, you know, the ideas in regards to how you can do that and, and in regards to how you can love yourself or, you know, just do more nice things for yourself. It doesn't have to be like extravagant, but for some of you, you're going to be finding that inspiration and your higher self either wants you to not actively seek that in inspiration, but just to be open to it when it does come to you. OK, um, but yeah, your your higher self wants you to know that you're about to feel extremely balanced, harmonious and at peace. Um, they want you to know that you are bettering yourself in amazing ways as well. Your higher self wants you to definitely be open and honest in regards to your feelings. Like, you know, who cares um, about how it's received? You know, you know your intentions and, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, you'll definitely be an ox, you'll definitely be more open and honest. But yeah, your higher self wants you to know that you're stepping stepping into a, you know, really grateful period, a period, uh, you know, that's full of grace and, you know, the sexy energy, like, honestly, maybe for some of you, there's going to be, um, you know, how you look at yourself is going to be different. And, you know, because you're maybe seeing yourself in a more beautiful and, you know, uh, abundant light, it's like you're going to be exuding that energy as well, you know, so you're going to be feeling great on the outside. And I feel like you're going to be attracting that energy towards you, you know, through the people you meet, the, you know, situations you encounter as well. But yes, your, your higher self also wants you to know that your intuition is going to be on fire, okay? Or your intuition is currently on fire and that you definitely, uh, you know, should trust yourself. And again, this doesn't have to be in extreme ways. It could just be, you know, little ways like taking different directions home or, you know, maybe, ooh, maybe go to that, um, you know, shop instead. You know, just little stuff like that. You're just being asked to follow your intuition because I feel like it's definitely going to be leading you to very beautiful and amazing places, but yeah, I feel like for some of you also, your higher self wants you to know that someone is going to try um, and charm you. Your higher self wants you to kind of date, um, if that resonates with your situation, you know, kind of date around, uh, maybe being open, you know, to people, you know, even if it's like friendships, like kind of just being um, open. And it's like, because you're exuding such a loving en energy, you know, like moving with nothing, with, like with nothing but good intentions you know optimism like even if it's just a balanced feeling it doesn't even have to be overwhelmingly um you know passionate or excited it could just be a balanced feeling of happiness and con you know content and i feel like because you are going to be feeling that way um that's definitely what you're going to be attracting in return but yeah your higher self wants you to know that they love you they love you very much 
um, they want you to they could want you to maybe step into you know that feminine energy a bit more or kind of honor like your feminine qualities or that feminine part of yourself um you know your emotions your sensitivity and stuff like that but i feel like your higher self also wants you to know that there is someone who is completely obsessed with you they're obsessed with your beauty they're obsessed with how you carry yourself they're obsessed with your independence for some of you, your higher self wants you to know that maybe you're stepping into like a more successful and a, an abundant uh, and independent period but for others of you some someone is definitely seeing you this way and it's kind of blowing their mind a little bit and for some of you maybe this person might approach you but i also feel for some of you like you're about to meet the love of your life or you're going to be finding something that's like the love of your life um uh, but if this is a person it could definitely be a new person but if you're with someone it could be deepening the bond that you currently have with them um but yeah i feel for some of you and i'd never say stuff like this lightly especially when it comes to love and stuff you know um but yeah i definitely feel for some of you are going to be meeting your love of the love of your life and you're just going to be feeling good Whew, okay <laughs> Look at this card, guys. It says ready, ready to love again. That's crazy. Oh. All right. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. So for some of you, your higher self wants you to know that maybe, you know, you guys could be ready to love again or ready to open yourself up to someone again. Like, I feel like your higher self really wants you to know, even if you don't feel ready, ready in this moment, your higher self wants you to, wants to reassure you that you've done the work, you know, you've healed or, you know, you're taking the right steps towards healing and, you know, maybe to encourage you that you could be ready you know, to put yourself back out there or to open up your heart, you know, to new love or renewed love in some way. Oh, so nice. Okay, and we have here natural beauty and auth authenticity. You know, if I was to see this card, I would have definitely thought of the emperor straight away as well. Um, what does your higher self want you to know? One second. Your higher self wants you to know that you're beautiful, um, you know, however you decide to show up, you know, they want you to know that you're very beautiful, how you are. They want you to know that your authenticity as well is beautiful, who you are in your core. Um, so, you know, maybe for some of your higher self, maybe want you to be more authentic, be more true to yourself <laughs> because they love who you are. You know, there's, you know, spirits and angels that can adore you as well people in this physical world that adore you but i feel like yeah you're just being encouraged to just be more your authentic self okay so it also says you are naturally attractive and lovable um in and inside and out that's so nice <laughs> Yeah, your higher self wants you to know, just, you know, reaffirm to you that you are lovable on the outside and, you know, the inside. And that you just have beautiful energy, you know, especially if you ever doubted that within yourself. Your higher self just wants to reassure you that, like, your energy is awesome, okay, and beautiful. Whew. Okay, so we have here music and it says, sing the song of your soul and dance to your unique rhythm. <laughs> For some of you, your higher self also wants to reassure you that, yeah, your path is unique. Yeah, your path is different and it's not going to look like everyone else's. What That's what's so beautiful about you and your life and your journey. And your higher self just wants you to, you know, be easy and be content in knowing that just because your path is different or it looks a little, a little bit different or you're, you know, unique or out there and quirky, you know, whatever it may be, uh, your higher self just wants you to know that you're awesome and you're being encouraged to do you, you know. 
<sighs> but yeah. But I feel for some of you, it's just more of an affirmation that, you know, your path is unique and that's okay. <laughs> so, wait one second. For some of you, your, your higher self does want you to, you know, move a bit more. So whether that means, you know, going out into nature, going on walks, you know, whatever, swimming, yoga, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, yeah, your higher self just wants you to move more, you know, dancing, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, so we also have animal embrace your wild side. Yeah, so for some of you, your higher self really does want you to embrace your highest Hi, what your wild side sorry <laughs> yeah your higher self really does want you to embrace your wild side if any of you have been like in a hermit mode or um or isolation or you know just reflection or just kind of keeping to yourself keeping things a bit low-key your higher self wants you to know that maybe you know it is the time to let that wild part of yourself out or just have fun you know it doesn't have to be crazy um but yeah oh it's <laughs> This is so nice. So we have a happy life and it says live a less guarded life. Okay. So I feel like your higher self wants you to know that you're protected and things are just going to get better and better for you, you know? I just see a lot of sunshine, uh, the temperance card came up to clarify. Um, so, you know, peace, harmony, balance, for some of you, um, you know, positive resolution as well. Uh, we also have heart of the matter, align life's pathways through the heart. So I feel like your higher self wants you to know that you are aligning with love, you know, and, you know, again, this doesn't have to be romantic. For some of you, I definitely feel like it is, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be like this could just be loving energy in general, you know, from your friends, from family, um, you know, just the environments that you find yourself in. But yeah, you're aligning with love and that's what your higher self wants you to know. But yeah, that is all I have for you, though, for those of you who chose this group um thank you this was such a lovely reading honestly and uh yeah i hope it can be helpful and i'm wishing you all the best on your journeys moving forward okay please take care of yourselves bye hey if you chose the fourth group how are you this is your reading or this reading could be for you um so yeah what does your higher self want you to know okay We'll start off with tarot cards. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords reversed and we have the Hangman reversed. Okay, so what does your higher self want you to know? Okay, so for some of you, your higher self wants you to maybe be more cautious of someone that could be coming back from the past. Um, they want you to know to just be careful or to be cautious of repeating, you know, past mistakes. It could be completely unrelated to a past person. It could be in regards to something else. Um, but yes, your higher self wants you to know that maybe um, you could be feeling maybe currently or, you know, will be feeling indecisive about something. This could be in regards to sharing uh, maybe being selfless in some way, maybe telling the truth or being open, um, you know, however the cookie, you know, crumbles in regards to that um, situation, your higher self um, kind of just wants you to be honest, you know, kind of just lead with that and, uh, you know, not see how it goes, but yeah, just definitely lead with your honesty. Your higher self also wants you to know that certain roadblocks or challenges um, are going to be removed or you're going to be finding uh, positive resolutions in certain situations soon. So 
so yeah your for some of you your higher self also wants you to be um, aware or be more aware of how certain things impact your body your emotions your life you know whether this be people places certain foods um yeah your higher self definitely just wants you to be cautious in regards to your environments and the stuff that you could be putting inside your body you know So yeah, for some of you, your higher self also wants you to release the past. This could be like a period of struggle. Maybe you've kind of sat with, you know, certain memories and certain experiences. And maybe you've tried to make sense of it. You know, maybe you've tried to rationalize certain things. Um, but now you're being encouraged and you're being asked by your higher self to kind of release, um, you know, these things now. Um, if it resonates, your higher self wants you to kind of come out of hiding, come out of isolation in some way. And if this resonates to you, I don't know what importance this may have to you. But for some of you, your higher self wants you to know that you're kind of being perceived as detached, uh, maybe emotionally so, um, maybe unapproachable. Um, but yeah, they just kind of want you to know that you're being perceived this way at the moment or you could be. Um, but I do feel like your higher self wants you to kind of step into a more serious energy or to kind of take something more seriously, you know, whether this be um, a decision or something that you've been waiting to do, um, something that you've been sitting on for quite a while. But yeah, you'll definitely be encouraged to take a more maybe serious and logical approach towards something at this moment. What does your higher self want you to know? So we have sensitive emotions. It says times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Yeah, so for some of you, your higher self just wants you to, um, you know, practice more self-care um, and kind of be gentle with yourself, you know? So we also have spiritual or religious community joined with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. Okay. So for some of you, your higher self is either encouraging you to connect with more like-minded people, but for others of you, I feel like your higher self is kind of just letting you know um, that you will be connecting and joining with like-minded people, you know, people who are on your wavelength, people who align with the things you align with, maybe who, people who share the same morals as you, you know, people that you can trust in some way. Um, for some of you, maybe it is um, a spiritual or religious community. Maybe for some of you, it's an art community or, you know, what, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, that So yeah, your higher self could want you to know that you're about to make great friends or um, connect with great people, maybe um, experience more support as well. But yeah, um, your higher self also wants you to know that you are growing spiritually as well. So I'm hearing it, like, especially if any of you have been feeling like a bit tender lately or maybe in the recent past, um, yeah you could be coming out of that tenderness and kind of really experiencing the growth of that experience you know um but yes so what does your higher self want you to know so we have award accept your well and praise <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting a message that for some of you, only take this if it resonates, but for some of you, your higher self wants you to not be humble about something. Um, for some of you, maybe this is like accepting compliments. 
but for some of you i'm hearing like your your higher self really wants you to not downplay your your achievements like maybe some of you are incredibly humble and you don't give yourself credit where it's due and your higher self kind of just wants you to give yourself credit where it's due you know um to be not humble for a minute like it's okay like you've worked for this you've earned this like you've you know been through a lot to get to this point or to achieve something and you know it's okay to toot your own horn sometimes especially if you know normally I, I don't know if this is just my imagination but i know like a lot of people have you know people to toot their own horn like to toot their horns you know in a great way like to people around you who praise you and support you but i know some people don't have that and you know if you feel weird about you know kind of tooting your own horn and praising yourself in some way or treating yourself your higher self just wants you to know that you've kind of earned it you know for some of you your higher self also wants you to know that maybe you're about to receive a a, a reward <laughs> um or something is just going to maybe have a positive result for you yay <laughs> okay We also have box, reveal your secret power. Yeah, get out of the box, you know, don't be humble. Put yourself out there in some way. I don't know. Um, So for some of you, your higher self either wants you to reveal a talent, like it may like happen naturally, like maybe there's a talent that you have that you don't normally discuss with people, but maybe someone brings it up in conversation. You're like, oh, you know, hey, uh, maybe I can help you out with that because, you know, I'm skilled in that area, you know. So for some of you, you are being asked to maybe be more open in regards to, you know, what you do have to offer, maybe kind of, you know, uh, putting yourself out there in some way. Um, but for others of you, this could be in regards to um, maybe, you know, revealing uh, a truth or revealing um, some form of honesty to someone or maybe towards yourself. So for some of you, like if you really resonate with being, you know, humble or shy or just kind of keeping to yourself in some way, I don't know. But your humble, your your higher self wants you to know um, or wants you to kind of just like step into your power and show people how powerful you are. You know, maybe you're someone who doesn't really necessarily feel the need to kind of, you know, prove yourself to anyone. And, you know, not that your higher self wants you to prove yourself to anyone, but um just be kind of open about the things that you're great at you know with that magician card coming up at the bottom you know being open about the stuff that you're maybe talented at as well um but yeah for some of you i definitely feel like you're being encouraged or your higher self wants you to be more outspoken the ace of swords came out when i was clarifying that that's hilarious okay and we also have uh, speak out communicate and solve the conflicts yeah so for some of you your higher self really does want you to speak out in some way maybe this is to resolve a conflict or um you know misunderstandings but your higher self is definitely encouraging you to speak out and finally we have finding the path you are the driver and the navigator So for some of you, your higher self just wants to remind you that you have full control over your life. You know, you're the one that's driving the car. You're the one that, you know, gets to sit up the sat nav thingy, <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, your higher, just, higher self just wants you to know that you are more powerful than maybe you are You are acknowledging. And um, they kind of just want you to kind of step into, into that energy and lead with that energy a bit more. But yeah, they want you to remind you that you definitely have full control over, you know, your path and where you're going moving forward. And you're going to beautiful places as well with that sun card coming out to clarify. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for you, though, for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could resonate in some way or be helpful. Um, but I'm wishing you the absolute best in your journeys moving forward. OK, please take care of yourselves. Bye.